So, what the devil have we here? It's Jazz, the 1978 album by Queen. And this one is limited edition pink vinyl. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Um, this is a HMV exclusive, as far as I know. Uh, Jazz, 100 gram heavyweight vinyl, half speed mastered. Look at that. The stuff that dreams are made of. <laughs> Uh, this sleeve seems to be from 2015 uh, when they reissued uh, Queen's albums on heavyweight black vinyl. Um, there is no barcode on the sleeve, it's on the sticker, which is cool, I like that. Um, it makes a change, barcodes are very generic. Um, it's embossed and um, I can't wait to see the actual vinyl itself. I'm going to cut it open, give it a good old rasping with my Victorinox Hunter Pro. Careful not to cut it to pieces. Released in November 1978, Jazz is technically the last Queen studio album of the 70s. Um, it's a gatefold. It was recorded in Nice, France and Montreux, Switzerland. Um, Roy Thomas Baker uh, co-produced. Uh, this is a great photograph. Um, you can see the band here, John Deacon standing over by the gong. Freddie is lying on the piano. Roger Taylor is sitting back reading a comic <laughs> or something. And that's Brian May with his red special. Oh, Joanna, look at this. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Sorry for the uh, ridiculous blabbing, but uh, this looks good. <laughs> wow. I like the way the uh, bicycles are all around the edge of the label. It's fantastic. Yeah, there you go. Something else in here. This is the inner sleeve. Track listing. Um, this stuff down here isn't on the original. Saying half speed master by Mike Showell at Abbey Road. Um, the thing is, um, I wonder if you check the record matrix, is it actually a half speed mastered um, edition? Is it the same stampers used? Um, I presume it could be, but you would really have to check the um, you would really have to check the uh, matrix. Uh, Discogs is probably the best place to find that out. Or listening to it, it should sound fantastic. Yeah, very, very nice indeed. Written, arranged and performed exclusively by Queen. This vinyl album has been meticulously recreated using the finest technology from the original first generation master mixes. Okay, executive producers May and Taylor. Master by Bob Ludwig, of course. Audio supervised by Justin Shirley Smith and Chris Fridrickson. Additional audio restoration by Chris Fridrickson. So it's been messed around with a bit. Um, additional audio supervision and jealousy bass drum reinstated by Josh Shua J. McCray. Half speed vinyl mastering by Miles Shaw. And what's in here? Oh, yes. The lyrics. That's great. 
there was no lyrics in the original jazz but you got this the nude poster ah yeah when you laugh no hand on very very nice for all us perverts out there yeah <laughs> so the uh, new poster is still alive and kicking I'm glad to see so my thoughts on the track listing for jazz um, it's an underrated album um, but it does have some failings on there uh, let's go through it Mustafa is absolutely insane uh, one of my favorite Queen tracks of all time um, it's just incredible um, Mercury is just a lunatic <laughs> it's it's insane it starts off in mono and then boom comes in blows the head off you Fat Bottom Girls uh, the album version is a bit different than a single um, it has an ending uh, not bad uh, it's still a good track very me has a fetish for Fat Bottom Girls Jealousy fantastic um, Mercury um, piano ballad one of my favourite Queen songs Bicycle Race hard not to like it's incredible um, if you can't beat them uh, this one I'm not mad about it um, yeah I could live without that track and I think the album could do without it as well Let Me Entertain You very very good I think that um, the album could have started with this would have been a good opener Din Mustafa Din you know move along that way Fat Bottom Girls would have been good at the end of side one uh, I don't know you know it's a long time ago 41 years side so two dead on time um, pretty big loud rocking queen song um, yeah, it's energetic yeah in only seven days it's a lovely deacon song dreamers ball that's a nice little bluesy jazzy number kind of got a 1930s uh, flavor to it fun it uh, I don't think that's a great song at all. Um, just goes nowhere. It's not even a good lyric. Um, I don't like the electronic drums. It's just a bit. It is a weak track, and I, I I've never really been too fond of it. And the, the more I hear it, the more I don't like it. Leaving home made easy is a great Brian May song. Don't stop me now. Classic, and more of that jazz, baffling. Um, I think that it's. It would have been much better if it was fast paced like the live version of we will rock you and the edits at the end they're just baffling as well so you know the album doesn't end on a bang by any means but other than that it's still a good album yeah so that's jazz if you um rotate it on a turntable it creates this amazing optical illusion where the jazz floats over the concentric circles yeah i might try and do that now See if I can capture it on camera. Okay, this is the uh, jazz album rotating on my turntable at 33 and a third RPM. Looks cool, it's like a symbol falling around the place. And the jazz seems to float over it. It's really, really cool. Yeah, there you go. So that's it, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, take care.